All right, Mr. Delapano TV. All right, so although the NBA All-Star format has changed, so the guys get into the game, and then the their two captains, the two with the most popular votes from obviously the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference, which will probably be LeBron and Kevin Durant, they pick guys that they want. The, 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 the simple format of we still take 12 guys from the East and 12 guys from the West is still the same. And the way we vote is still the same. All right, we're just switching up the players so we can have a better actual all-star game. All right, so I thought it would be dope going into this NBA season if we run through the NBA teams and I give my all-stars. All right, so the first list, we're going to do the Western Conference and then I'll do the Eastern Conference on another video. So the first few guys I name are, without a shadow of a doubt, going to make this game, all right? And a lot of it is based on popularity, which, again, the fans have 50% of the vote for the, uh, the, the first five guys. So, again, some of this is it's just going to happen. Steph Curry and Kevin Durant, those are no-brainers. The Golden State Warriors will be number one at the All-Star break, break probably by far. And they're going to have those two guys in without a shadow of a doubt. And, then, and all this is, again, is without injury coming into play because that's going to switch things up. James Harden, he'll be in. Houston will be a top three, top four seed. He'll be the starting two. All right? So we, right now we got Steph, Harden, and Durant. Um, here's where it gets tricky. I think Kawhi Leonard will be a starter as well. San Antonio, they've always been a top two, top three seed around, uh, around February. So I got Kawhi in. That's four guys right there. So now we kind of get into the who's this going to be the starting big man. I got Marc Gasol here right now. If Memphis can be in the playoffs, I'll, I'll stick with Mark. If they're in the playoff picture, Mark will be the starting center. Probably fans will vote him in anyway. As long as they see Memphis in the playoffs, the fans are going to vote Mark as the starting center. So that's your starting five. Here are a couple other no-brainers for me. Russell Westbrook, the reigning MVP, He'll be, in, he'll be in the game. He'll be there. He won't be a starter, but he'll be in. The fans are going to vote Steph over him. Jimmy Butler. I expect a lot of things out of the Minnesota Timberwolves. He'll be in the game. He'll be in that game some form of fashion. I think he's the Minnesota's best player for that all-star format because he's a perimeter guy. His stats, I think he's in. I think he's in. All right? Again, Carl Anthony Towns, I understand it's a rising guy. But for right now, I think Jimmy Butler's the guy to pick for Minnesota. If they hadn't made the playoffs without, uh, with just Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins the last couple years, you bring in Jimmy Butler, he's going to look at the guy that's made the big of a difference. Jimmy Butler is in. Now, let's go to a, a list of guys who I think they're in, but it's going to kind of come down to what their team is doing. DeAndre Jordan. If the Clippers are in the playoff picture, they got to have a guy. Usually everybody in the playoffs at the time gets a guy. I think the Clippers could find a way to make the playoffs. I tend to believe DeAndre will be the guy over Blake. I'm just not sold on Blake. He hasn't been healthy a lot of late as well around this time of the year. I'll go DeAndre because he's a defender. He'll be in the defensive player of the year running. He'll have a lot of rebounds. He'll average over 10 points, and he'll have a couple blocks uh, average at that time. Anthony Davis is another sketchy one. Maybe he gets the vote over Mark as starting center. That'll be close. So Anthony Davis is a guy that I, I think he'll get into the game. Damian Lillard, he's been snubbed a few times. I think Damian Lillard's in. I think this Portland team, they've learned their lesson about trying to come on late. I think Dame is in the All-Star game this year. And Paul George, he'll be the second guy of the OKC Thunder. That all depends on where the Thunder are seated at come uh, around the All-Star game. They're going to need to be a three or four seed and I think the Thunder could probably get two guys in for sure. Now, these next list of guys, to me, they're all-star talent. But I don't know this year if they're going to make the game. Chris Paul, if Houston's number two, I definitely believe Chris Paul gets in. If Houston's the number two seed in the, in the Western Conference over San Antonio, over OKC, I believe Chris Paul should be in the game. Paul Millsap, if Denver's in the playoff picture, maybe he'll deserve some consideration, making a difference down there in, in Denver. Carl Anthony Towns, again, depends on Minnesota's seeding. Rudy Gobert, like him, don't love him. But if Utah finds a way to stay in the playoff picture without Gordon Hayward this season, he's got to be in. He's their best player now. Carmelo Anthony, with the Thunder get three guys in? I don't think any team deserves three guys outside of the Warriors. They're going to maybe get four 
and I'll talk about that in a second. I don't know. I don't know if, if, if any team deserves three guys. Then you got DeMarcus Cousins, who I don't think he gets in the game. I'm not going to lie. You can only pick between him and Anthony Davis. I don't think both these guys get in the game. It's, it's, it's crazy, but I don't think he gets in. Devin Booker. What if Phoenix is in the playoff picture? They got Josh Jackson now. What if they make strides? Blake Griffin, again, I'm not sold on him. And, again, I didn't even come back to the defending champion Warriors who are probably going to get – if they're, again, if they're going for the record, if they're going to break their own record at 73-9 and nine, and they're, they've only lost like three or four games at all-star break, they deserve all four of their guys. So that would give me Draymond and Clay. They're both all-star talents. It's just tough because the Western Conference, they've added so many stars – so many guys would have to come out. So who we got right now? We got Steph, KD, James Harden. You got Marcus All, Kawhi. You got Jimmy Butler, Russ. That's seven guys. DeAndre, eight. Anthony Davis, nine. Damian Lillard, 10. Paul George, 11. And I'll go Klay Thompson, 12, which would mean Draymond Green would be the outside guy. I'll go him over um, – I'll go Clay Thompson over Draymond Green. And that's my 12 guys. Again, very tough race. I want to know your 12 guys for the NBA All-Star game. Again, once we get the 12 Western Conference guys, they're not going to play together. We're going to put them in this big shuffle and vote off. But I think those will be the 12 guys that get in for the 2018 NBA All-Star game. Would love to know yours. Again, check out my other video. I'm going to do the Easter Conference just like this one as well. Thank y'all for the time love support. Salute. I'm out. Now, if you enjoyed this reaction video, please subscribe to the Reaction channel right now for more exclusive quality content. And if you want more news from Teleferro, please subscribe to the main channel at It's Mr. Teleferro for your latest in sports, hip-hop, and other culture-related activities going on. Teleferro got you covered. Thank you for the time, love, support, and subscribe right now.